All right, let's take a traditional Java application which is hosted on this GitHub uh, repo. Uh, this is this has nothing specific to OpenShift. Um, it generates a var file. Right, this can be deployed onto a Tomcat, and it has a pretty simple REST API. You can take a look. Uh, it exposes a bunch of endpoints on the REST API. On the home, it just says hello from whatever host it is running on, and it also has a health API, and I'll discuss this later. And there is a DB test API which uh, connects to MySQL and then fetches data from that. And the configuration file is located um, in this section. This is where it expects. Okay. So pretty traditional Java application, nothing specific to OpenShift. Let's go and run it on my machine to see if it is uh, really running on a machine or not. So I'm already cloned this repo in this directory. We can see. And let me make sure I pull everything. It's it's update. Okay, now I'll open this inside IntelliJ and then compile it and run it, run it, okay. It takes a couple of seconds. It's a pretty simple API but very traditional Java application. So this is going to compile this Java application and deploy it inside my Tomcat which is running on my host. Okay, and it's now generating a var file. I already have a MySQL instance running on my machine. So it's going to connect on my local host and then this is a credential that it's going to use. So the configuration file is basically application.properties file that I have okay. and I have it on this location opd config and application dot properties this is where I have it so it says hello world it also has a rest api so when I hit the rest api endpoint it is going to say hello from whatever host it is running on so this is my Mac localhost. Okay. It also has a DB test endpoint. When I hit that, it's going to connect to my internal MySQL instance and fetch data from there. Okay. Pretty traditional Java application, which I've shown you it is running on my local Tomcat instance.